running and developing are probably the two main challenges. The process has to be well thought. Where are we going to get the information and evidence from? And how are we going to make sure that we are addressing the local needs? What are the most important elements for consultation? So, each side has its own hierarchy of objectives, right? Yep. That's what he said. And that's the tricky issue here. That and starting early. Starting early, yep. Clear communication. Clear communication. Also very important. And then one of them, one of them's like, well, this just doesn't seem relevant to us. And another one's like, in any case, this is the way we do it. But then finally what happens is, well, if only we'd known then what we know now. But also, how can we know what we don't know? An iterative application process based on uh, evidence and feedback would develop local development strategies with an agreed budget and uh, achievable targets. We don't need to consult with them, eh? We set the rules. Actually, we do. Actually, we do. And we know exactly what rural communities need. Yeah, and as usual, we face the consequences because you never listen or learn from us. How can those involved in the implementation of LEADER learn from each other? We have provided clear regulations. It should be easy for everyone to make this work. Well, it's clear for us, but not necessarily for our managing authorities. Of course, sometimes the frustration comes from mixed messages. What was said, what was meant, what was actually heard and this can result in duplication of effort, in delays and is frustrating for all parties. Who is making decisions about what? That's another thing that causes confusion. Because that means differing degrees of autonomy and different local action groups use different approaches for putting out a call for projects, for example. Which results in different degrees of achievement and results. How can we ensure that our strategies are realistic and deliverable? Well, I can go on all day. Circumstances change. Locally and more widely. And that is going to affect the relevance. The relevance of our plans and actions. So how can we plan for things that appear to be out, out of, of our control? control? I don't trust the luck to the payments or select a project. And we have lots more important measures to think of than leader. How am I supposed to know what my responsibilities are? There is a need to better coordinate the implementation process. To clearly define managing authorities, paying agencies, local action groups' roles. To strengthen and clarify communication to balance the administrative burden, to, to avoid, avoid unnecessary delays. Yeah, and the paying agency is constantly changing the rules, and as usual, we are never consulted.
Exactly. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> <laughs>